Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend a few moments with me as we work on today's project. So today, I want to add some sort of phrase or verbiage to the top of this cake stand. Now I got this from the Target dollar spot or bullseye section and I believe that it was five dollars and it's not very large. It is nine inches round so it's not extremely large but that's okay because we can certainly place all kinds of pastries and things like that on it so it's definitely a good price for this piece so what I did was I went on to Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna open up my saved SVG file and there it is and I'm gonna go ahead and send that to print out on my machine I'm going through the process Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and done that, I've already gone through the weeding of the vinyl out because that would just take too long and you don't need to sit here and look at that. So I've already done that. Now I just need to place my transfer tape onto my phrase. So first let me separate the transfer tape from the paper backing. Okay, so let's just get this off of the paper backing and let's go ahead and just place it down on our phrase. So for this, I need to stand up and we're just going to very carefully place it over our phrase and then pressing down really, really well. Okay, and I notice that there's just a slight little bubble around the corner, so I'm just lifting it up and then placing it back down again so I have no bubbles. Okay, now I'll just bring in my bone folder, and I will just start to, pressing firmly, just go over my phrase. I'm going to just take the extra moment to really, really burnish that well, the more time that you spend on it and that you actually press down firmly, the easier it is to get onto your project. So once I've done that, I always flip it over and do the back side as well. So I'm pressing not only on the front, but also on the back. Okay, so now. Let's go ahead and we're going to remove the transfer tape from the paper backing. And I'm just going to lift off one corner and just slowly peel it back, making sure that you're looking to see if any was left on the paper backing. And it wasn't, which is great. Okay, so now let's bring in our cake stand and we're just going to position it, try to get it as centered as possible. So now this is very, very sticky. So we try to use that taco method by folding up both sides. And once I feel pretty comfortable that I like where it's going to be positioned, I'll go ahead and just lay it down. Okay, and pressing from the middle out. All right, now let's bring in our bone folder and we're just going to press that really well. Press it really, really well so that it sticks to your, to your cake stand. And I always don't mind taking that extra moment to do it to do it well so that it doesn't give me any problems 
when I'm ready to lift the transfer tape off of my project. Okay, and I think that's about good. Now I'm just going to start lifting off my transfer tape by the corner and I'm just going to go slowly. Again, we want to make sure that all of our letters are imprinted onto the cake stand, which it's looking fabulous right now. It's all peeling so nicely. Just a little bit more. And voila. There you have it. Now I can reuse this transfer tape a few more times. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it back on the paper backing and I'm going to use it again. I don't throw it away after each use because it's still sticky and I can still use it. And hey, might as well get the most for your money. Am I right? So I've gone ahead and done that and I can use it down the road when I need another piece. Okay, so let's bring it back and look at how absolutely beautiful it looks. I love, love, love this. It's going to make a really pretty addition to my kitchen. And, you know, for me, I love those reminders where I'm thinking about how God, how God is just so good. And I am completely grateful and thankful, and I consider myself blessed. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's project. It was a quick one. If you like this video, please hit that like button, as well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. All right, guys, until the next time, keep it creative.